do some people actually make some decent money but unfortunately a lot of this money they're actually making goes down to buying or getting some basic essential needs this is owing to the fact that there's a high level of inflationary rates in the country in a period of inflation you realize that a lot of things most especially goods and services are always very very expensive and as a result of this at the end of the day a lot of people do not have any amount of money left there to save not to talk of their investment also due to lack of financial education a lot of people make poor investment decisions that at the end of the day their money usually goes down to the drain and that is why this lecture this video is very very imperative and to help you to actually make rightful investment decision and in the period of inflation it also make it to be able to be able to invest your money in the right way you see in this our uh, contemporary time it is not easy to survive in this economic system which is called capitalism and owing to high level of inflationary rates in the country because things are very very hard in the country but to really build wealth or become rich you need to put aside some amount of money every month and this amount of money does not mean that you have to save big amount of money or big chunk of money before you can actually start something in your life so what we're saying there is that despite the high inflationary rates despite the fact that money does not have value despite the fact that there's a high level of uh, for unemployment in society despite the fact that things are very expensive nowadays despite the fact that the economy is in shambles now despite the fact that the value of money have actually gone down you can still save something for yourself and what are we talking about here we do not mean that for you to be able to be rich or to be wealthy that you have to start building your wealth or your money by saving a lot of money or investing a lot of uh, money you see it's like saying this idea that a, a, you know a little drop of water actually makes a mighty ocean what we're saying here is that with a little amount of money, even though you start investing that little amount of money, you can still make something worthwhile out of your life. Because that little amount of money which you're actually investing will go a very long way to become something bigger tomorrow. And that's why investment is a decade of a sacrifice. You see, right now, in the country now, the price index for foods in the society now in the country is about 40.8 percent and that means that or that the price of goods and services or food most especially which is essential for for human life has gone to an astronomical rate and is very very expensive now but in the midst of this uncertainty in the midst of what of inflation in the midst of expensive goods and services in the midst of money not having value you can start something worthwhile with your life and that is why investment when you talk about investment you do not need to put large chunk of money or you do not need to put a lot of money before you can actually start something for yourself so something small can actually become something big tomorrow so something small is what you can actually work and watch and what was it work to become a something big so for you to actually be able to, to invest in this uh, economy system or invest in what in investment you need little amount of uh, money so that is why even when you are actually broke even when when there is no money in your pocket even when money does not have value you can still save something at the end of the day you see to really build it or become rich you need to put aside some amount of money every month do you understand now you need to put some amount of money so immediately you get paid at the end of the month make sure you set some certain amount of money aside for your savings then the other ones can go for for investment and the other one can, can go for spending but with cardinal the most indispensable or the most important among them is that at the end of every month you should be able to invest some certainty of your money into your portfolio investment so this amount of money we're talking about here does not need to be a large sum of money but you could actually start with something small and watch that something small grow into something big remember like i said earlier a little drop of water makes a mighty ocean to achieve this you need to, to be very consistent every time that is you know sometimes some people will say that um i can actually save some money every week 
if every week is not actually convenient for you, you can make it every month. If every month is not convenient for you, you can make it every two, two months. But what we're saying is that you must start uh, something. There's never any time that is too late. You can start uh, today. So, inflation is eating deep. Inflation is making money not to have value. Inflation is making money not to have value. Inflation is making things to be very expensive out there. Inflation is creating uncertainty. It is making or creating what we call high interest rate in society. It is making complex to fold up. It is making or creating high unemployment rate in society. But in the midst of this economic situation, you can still remedy yourself by saving something small at the end of the day. It is never too late. What we're saying is that you need to save something, no matter how small that amount of money is. You can save 500 naira every month. You can save 1,000 naira every month. You can save 2,000 naira every month. You can save 10,000 every month. No amount of money is too small for you to save. And that is why you need to start something for yourself by start saving something for yourself. As your money actually grows, your, your investment will also grow. That is, if you actually, if you are actually decided that you are going to invest your money today, your investment will begin to grow and your money will begin to grow for you. You see, what other people make money through their money? You see, for you to be very wealthy, for you to be rich, you need to make your money through your money. And what are we saying there? Making your money through your money is that you need to invest your money to make what? To make a profit or returns for yourself. So what we're saying is that for you to be wealthy, you need to put something into an investment uh, portfolio. So why would the people actually make their wealth by not working to make or get salary at the end of the month or not working to, to get paid for the services they are rendered, but they get paid through their level of uh, investment. So your salary will not make you rich. Your services which you are rendering to people outside there may not make you rich. What will actually make you rich is what is actually investment. So when you invest your money, your money grows because when you keep the money in the bank, the money does not create any value. It only creates dust in the banks and the banks will give your money to people that actually need it. And those people what will put it into investment and make money for themselves. At the end of the day, you are not getting a return. You are not getting anything back for the money you have actually put in the bank. But rather the money, the banks are making profit on your behalf, but they are not giving you anything in return. Then apart from that, when you put your money in the bank, the bank does not pay you any form of interest. Do you get it now? So the best thing that you can actually do in this economic situation and in this economic system is that you need to put your money where your money is actually going to do for you. And that is a investment. So for those that are wealthy, their money always works for them. Their money is always growing for them because they have actually invested their money. So working as a salary earner, Working and getting paid for the services which you have rendered will not create wealth, will not make you to be rich or affluent, but rather it will make you to be stagnant because at one particular point in time, that money which you have not actually invested will lose value because in the period of inflation, money actually loses value. But for you to be able to create value for yourself, you need to make your money to work for you by investment, by investing that uh, money. Now, you don't need to be rich before you can actually become a rich. Look at that statement. You don't need to be rich in, in order for you to, to actually become a rich. What I'm trying to say there is that, well, that you can start from something small. So you don't need to be rich in order to be rich. Do you get it now? So you can actually start from something small. And you can actually work that something small, grow into something uh, big. All you need to do to be rich is to, uh, to invest your money. All you need is to actually invest to be rich and make a wealth. All you need to do is actually to invest the money and watch your money creating wealth for you and watch your money creating value for you and watch your money what growing for you and watch your money what working for you. That is the essence of a investment. So you can watch your money grow while you are still actually working. So even though you are earning salary every month and they are paying you at the end of every 30 working days, you can still create wealth for yourself and that is in other words you are creating two streams of income for yourself you are actually creating an income for yourself as a salary earner and you are also creating income for yourself as an investor that means that we are creating 
two streams of income for yourself when you actually invest your primary job and your secondary streams of what of investment or what your portfolio investment is actually making money for you so in other words you have two streams of income making money for you so you can watch your money grow while you are still working thereby creating what i call the streams of income so you get paid when you work and you also get paid when your investment is actually working for you so it's actually a decade of a sacrifice when you actually invest your money because over time your money is going to create more profit for you so investment is actually profitable when you get what we call a compound interest return on your investment per year in other words currently now most of these investment portfolio uh, companies or most of these banks that are doing what we call mutual funds and the rest of them they are paying about 20 percent on return by investment per annum or by year now imagine you actually invested about one million naira this year now that means that your one million naira is going to get to 1.2 million naira that is one million two hundred thousand naira it is actually the reality it is not fictitious it is not utopia it is not a mirage it is real it is what i'm actually doing and i'm making my money everything i could remember when i started you know some time ago about 18 months ago I started but the greatest regret i have is because i did not start early in life probably by now i should have actually retired and not working again because by now i will have become what a millionaire or a billionaire so what we're saying is that investment is a decade of sacrifice that you build over a period of a time and you get what go a compound interest in return for your level for your investment portfolio per annum so investment investment is the key to creation of wealth and not the salary you are being paid at the end of every month because at the end of every month you get paid salary and if care is not taken you exhaust or you waste that money buying this buying that buying this buying that to get what we call the basic needs and at the end of the day you may not have anything that you can actually save for yourself for the future but when you actually invest your money your money is growing then your other primary um, in your, in job that you're actually doing is actually what making money for you and your investment does what making money for you on the other hand too so in other words you are having two streams of what of uh, income coming for you every month do you get it now so you can work to increase your active uh, income which is your primary income or work you could also improve your primary income when you increase your what your salary through what we call different uh, means for example you might try to what, to go for more professional courses you might try to what, to you know increase your skills and by so doing your income will be increased do you understand now why that income is actually what increasing it will, it should also affect your level of uh, investment so while your income is increasing your investment should also increase that is the amount of money you actually put in what in your investment should also increase as well and that's why i said that you can actually start little by little from two to four from four to six from six to eight from eight to ten from ten to what to twelve and that is why we call it a decade of what of a sacrifice then to get to a point where your investment is going to sustain your living at that point where your investment will sustain your what your living at that point you have actually reached what we call what the zenith of what of wealth or wealth creation because right now you are not working again but your money is actually working for you and that is what investments are all about investing for the future investing for tomorrow where you can lay a legacy or what of wealth for your children that are coming from your back or coming after you so you have created what a legacy of what of investment you have actually created a legacy of what of wealth for them from one generation to another just like when i was talking about poverty tree the other time that poverty can be generational it can be passed from the parents to the children and from the children to what to their yet unborn children the same thing with wealth. we can pass wealth from from the from the parents to the children and to the children what unborn so it becomes what a generational legacy of what of a wealth so if you want to create a, leg a generational legacy of wealth for yourself then it is time now for you to, to start uh, investing your money passive investment actually will build their wealth and uh, when you have wealth you have what affluence and when you have what affluence that means that you're actually rich just like when i was trying to, to distinguish the other time between the difference between wealth and what and they being rich because there is a difference between both of them when you are wealthy you are more comfortable and at that point you are no longer spending your money because your money is actually working for you but when you are rich it means that we are actually what your money can actually fund your lifestyle your money can actually sustain you your money can actually give you the basic things of life without what without 
actually necessarily affecting your finances. But when you are actually rich and wealthy, it means that your wealth, your money is working for you and you're no longer spending your money at any point in time again. So it is totally wrong when people believe that, well, that wealth can be built through salary. You cannot build wealth through salary because once that money is not actually invested, it will not create a wealth. So it's a big mistake. It's an error. It's erroneous for people to believe that what well, I can actually be wealth when you save the money. When you save money is actually good. But when that money is not generating income for you, then it's as good as what has been a useless because it might not sustain everything. Then if you are the type that you are saying that you're actually saving your money for retirement, it is not a wrong notion. For the best thing that you can actually do is to actually invest your money and watch your money grow over years to sustain your lifestyle lifestyle when you actually retire. You see, in the capitalist system, what is built when there's an increase in the value of what of, in, of investment? What is actually built when there's a an increase in the value of, of investment or when people create what I call a, a cash flow. And somebody asked me the other time, say, oh, okay, what do you mean by cash flow? When you talk about cash flow, you talk about the kind of investment where you have something at the end of the month in form of a physical cash or every three months or every six months or every year or even over a period of years. That's what my cash flow. So cash flow is when you have consistent or continuous money flowing in the form of a physical cash into your hand. They call it what a cash flow. I think that one has answered the, the question that that person was asking me that's about what I mean by cash flow. So now the question is where do you actually invest your money? You see, a lot of people look for individual companies to invest based on their level of all preferences you understand that this is very very risky because i will not encourage people to actually move forward with individual companies do you know why it is very risky because most of these companies might actually go into bankruptcy and when they go into bankruptcy what happens you lose your money so when you can actually invest your money where you cannot lose or regret at the end of the day is by investing your money to what i call a funds funds and what by my funds i'm talking about basket of a companies basket of what of complaints that will give you a special to the biggest uh, complaints for example you have the S&P 500 you have the Nasdaq you have the Dow Jones and the rest of them they are all what funds under what under mutual funds or what or stock or equity trust uh, funds you understand that? so the question the reason for this is because if one of these complaints is bankrupt your money is still secured and the uh, the more the company actually what actually goes into the bank or we kick out the stem and will be replaced by another company so you are still secure that your money still will save at the end of the day under what we call what funds or equity trust their funds because in that fund it is not only one company but a conglomeration of what of a company that you are actually investing your money into so the bankruptcy of one company or the collapse of one company out of the 500 does not affect what the other companies that are seeing existence or if you cannot go into that you can also go into what we call the mutual funds like what i'm actually doing now though i'm not your financial advisor or your financial portfolio manager is what i call a mutual funds where i actually involve invest my money based on my level of thought of education so it's a preference you can go for equity trust fund you can go for individual companies you can go for for funds and the rest of them but what me i'm actually doing is what i call the mutual funds where i actually invest my money and i collect what we call the compound interest every year which is 20 percent of my total investment per annum do you understand so what can be greater than that so if you have about two million in your account now and you invested that money that means you are going to collect what we call 2.4 million at the end of the year which is 400 000. now tell me which bank is going to pay you that, that amount of money so you actually need a lot of you know education to actually function in this economic system for you to survive in this economic system so you need to improve yourself by having or improving your financial education to actually survive in this economic system called uh, capitalism so if you cannot invest your money in a single company or individual company because you need to have a high level of what of financial education to actually involve or invest your money in an individual company but if you don't have that financial education, if you don't have that time, if you don't have that capability, you can go into what we call the funds, where you invest the money in a conglomeration of what companies and you watch your investment at good. Or you can actually invest the money into what we call a mutual fund, like what I'm actually doing. Or you can go put your money into what we call dollar fund, you can put your money into Allah fund, you can put into your money into what? Into Euro, Euro bond, you can put your money into what? Into Sharia funds, you can put your money into what? Into different funds what? or funds. And at the end of the day, you are going to have some percentage of money given to you as an interest 
on your what on the total amount of money you are actually put in a particular period of time most especially in what in a period of a uh, one year so individual companies the risk is very 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 high so but in some cases some people in for invest their money in individual funds and some people also would invest their money in what in the conglomeration of what of companies which i call a basket of a uh, complex now to to you have to decide what is actually good for you based on your level of education i've said earlier so to start investing find the comfortable amount of money you can start with don't believe that you have to become a millionaire to become a millionaire no you can start with ten thousand you can start with five thousand like mutual fund in nigeria it's just five thousand naira. you can start with five thousand naira, and i can bet you after one year nobody will even tell you before you start putting money every time every time every time you want to top it up because the more you top it up the more your interest will grow up or you become, the more your compound interest will grow up in a year so you have to top it up you understand now so you can start with anyone that you actually wanted but the basic thing is that i for one i go for mutual level funds but i'm not telling you, you should go for mutual funds but the decision is actually yours so you can consult your financial manager to put it through in the kind of funds you can actually put your money into or invest your money into so don't say i'm the one that said you should put your money there or meet your financial manager and they will advise on what you need to, to do so you need financial education to do all these things so that you can actually know where you can actually invest your money you have to start investment today it is not ever too late do you understand? You have to start today. You have to start today. No amount of money is too small for you to, to start investing your money and you watch your money grow for you. For I for one, I for one, let me tell you something. I for one, just last year and you know, up to this period, I've made about 300,000 ever. Made about 300,000 ever. And I'm still counting. So that means before December, I'll make roughly you know, 500,000 ever or more. Before December, will become up or 450,000 before December. That is good money for me. Now, assuming if I don't have a house, if I'm li living in a rented apartment, I can use that money to, to pay for my students to fees and pay for my house rent. You get it now. But it's a decade of sacrifice, like I, I've always said, because I will still reinvest that money again next year again. I will still reinvest the money. I will keep reinvesting the money until I get to that point which I wanted. Do you get it now? So it's a decade of sacrifice. I have to keep investing and investing your money. But I can tell you categorically that people are spending every day now because they are making money every day. Now, let me tell you some habit that you need to stop that is actually making you not to make wealth or is actually making you not to make money. It's just a, just a bonus. And before I round up my lecture, it's just a bonus. You understand? Because I believe that you actually gain something. So if I've actually gained something, you know, just subscribe to my channel now. Subscribe to my channel. But let me give you the bonus before I actually go. On those habits you need to stop. Because those habits will keep you to be perpetually poor or make you not to, to make growth. Number one is that you have to cut overspending. You have to cut your overspending. A lot of people are spending so much money. Too much money. You spend too much. You have to cut your expenses. You spend too much money on but on things that will not create value for you or things that will not give you value. Stop spending your money on those things, but rather invest your money on things that will, that will create value for you and not things that will not create a value. So curb your overspending. Do you get it now? People spend money on recharge card, on this or that, things that they don't even need, they buy beers and all those things. You don't need to spend those money recklessly. So curb your overspending. Number two is that you need to curb your gambling mentality. I know someone in my, you know, I will not mention somebody's name, but I know someone that I know very closely that today is still indebted. Is gambling is, is addicted to gambling. Gambling, gambling can destroy your life. So if you are the type that you actually was involved in gambling, you have to stop it. So I've actually made some people to be rich, but on the other hand, the majority of people that are going through gambling, a lot of them are poor today because why? They have not been able to, to achieve anything at the end of the day. So we have to stop that gambling mentality. A lot of people believe that they can actually make it when they gamble. It's not. It's just a few people. Maybe out of hundred, maybe five or ten people will make it out of gambling. So if you don't belong to that category and you have been gambling for over a year, over the years, and it's not helping you, then you have to stop gambling. Number three is that you have to avoid the, you know, time wasters. Time wasters. A lot of people, a lot of people that I know, they watch videos, they watch TV from morning to night, they watch, they use internet from morning to night. And the question is, the internet that I use is not actually good. But what are you gaining from the internet? You watch people dance, you watch people video, you watch somebody's, you know, somebody's picture, you chat. Are they creating money for you? They are not creating money for you. If you are going to go to the internet now, you should be for something that will be productive, something that will create money for you, that will create wealth for you. And not what? Wasting your time. So you have to avoid time wasters. Do you get it now? Then number four is what I call procrastination. Stop postponing things. I'll do it today. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it today. Before you know it, time is gone. So avoid procrastination. Then stop this mentality of the defeatist attitude.
attitude. Don't always feel defeated. Some of us, when you do one or two things and you fail, you have given up hope. You believe that you cannot do anything good in life. Avoid that defeatist attitude, that attitude of giving up or not believing yourself. That you are, you are easily defeated. When you do the, when, once you do one thing and you don't make it in that area, you stop it. That is not life. You have to avoid that defeatist uh, attitude. Then another one is what we call uh, self-limit. Don't limit yourself. Don't think down upon yourself. This inferiority complex that uh, I don't think I can make it. I don't think I can achieve this. You are a giant. You are created a giant. There's nothing you, can, you cannot achieve under the sun if you actually believe in yourself. That's why I always tell people that when you wake up in the morning, look at yourself in the mirror and say, I am a champion. I am an achiever. I can do this. I can achieve this. See yourself as a champion. Don't have that negative perspective about yourself that you cannot do it. You can do it. You must have that one called, yes, I can spirit. I can do all things. As long as that thing is what is legitimate and sporty, you can do it. So stop limiting yourself. Then avoid taking, avoid, not taking responsibility. A lot of people today, they don't like taking responsibility for their failures and everything. They always like blaming other people for themselves. If you want to make it in life, you have to start taking responsibility for your actions. Take responsibility, whether you succeed or you don't succeed. Take responsibility. Stop shifting your problem to other people. Stop blaming your other people for your problem. But take responsibility for your problem. Do you understand? And look for a solution to your problem. And what do I mean by looking for a solution to your problem? Drop down and look at those things that you have actually, actually failed. And look at how you can actually avoid those things that will actually make you to go fail in those things that you have actually gone into and you fail at the end of the day. So when you can actually identify your failures, then you can avoid those failures in the future. So start taking responsibility for your action. Then don't do what we call purposeless uh, work. A lot of people are so, they don't have purpose in life. I was asking someone a question the other time. I said, do you ever believe that I can buy a car? Dude, that question looks very simple. It's a very, very healthy question. It's a very lengthy, very, you know, very heavy question. Do you ever think that I can buy a car in your life? He said he has never even thought about it. That means that he has limited himself. He has never thought to himself that he can achieve anything in life. That he doesn't have any purpose. What I'm saying there is that he must have a purpose in what? In life. Your, your reason for being alive or being this world today is for a purpose. You must have a purpose. You must define your purpose. What do you want to be in the next few years? What do you want to achieve in the next few years? Do you want to remain stagnant or you want to move on? You want to become a champion? You want to be one of the richest? You want to live a comfortable life? You want to live a life that's full of pleasure? You want to live a life that is devoid of, of regrets? You must have a purpose in life. You must have a purpose in life. You must be disciplined. You must tell yourself what you want to become in life. You must think your brain should be working. Your mentality should work. Your mindset should change. That negative mindset, you throw it aside and, want, and believe in yourself that you can do everything in life, that nothing can limit you. This goes to those that actually want to, to invest their money. Some people say, ah, I have only 5,000 naira. What can 5,000 naira do? But have you forgotten that you go to a beer bar and you spend 10,000 naira? That 10,000 naira you are spending on beer. Why don't you use it to invest? Every week, put 10,000. Every month, put 50,000. Every month, put 100,000. Every month, put 200,000. 200,000 times 12. That is 2.4 million naira. 2.4 million naira in a year. That will fetch you 480,000 naira interest in a year. 480,000 naira in a year. It is not, we are not joking here. We are talking about what? Money, how to make money. If you want to make money, this is the time. This is the time. Stop blaming the sun, the moon, the nature, your people in the village for your predicament. It is time to, to take responsibility for your actions. And what and God will help every one of us. I believe I've actually gained something in my lecture today. If you don't gain, subscribe, share my videos to people out there. And I believe that at the end of the day, all of us will make it together. Thank you for the thanks as well. I've always been watching my video. I say very big thank you to you guys. And if you're not be watching my video, I bet make it to watch my video. Share my video to the outside world and God bless you all. At the end of the day, I believe that we're going to get there by the grace of God. God bless you. God bless Lagos State, God bless Nigeria, and God bless the whole world. Thank you so much, and God bless you. Bye-bye.